hi guys in our uh, previous session we have done the maven integration with the uh, nexus repository okay and that one i think you will understand because uh, we have we have uh, we have steps we have created and we have done uh, like we created uh, uh, two repositories snapshot repository other one is release repository and after creating that one we have we have taken those urls and we have taken the urls of snapshot and release and we <coughs> copy paste into the format xml after that we have given the nexus repository credentials and we have the setting in the setting.xml of the maven we configured after that we done the clean and deploy okay that was that uh, that steps are finished right now uh, nexus is having in the, in the nexus we need to create one more repository repository that is called remote repository uh, this one remote repository is used in the companies like uh, whenever uh, any dependency is required Mm, always going to we are going to local after that we are going to central repository mm, but uh, companies will maintain remote repositories all the libraries and jar files will be maintained here in the re remote re repository spring or uh, hibernate whatever the uh, whatever the dependency that will be stored in the remote repository and whenever we run the uh, mvn goals like mvn mvn clean and package what are the dependencies are configured in the formed xml it will go and uh, download that from the remote repository that is the concept actually so we will do this one also today <coughs> so first what is this our step is to create the remote repository uh, <coughs> actually you have to think like this uh, somebody has given you a task like to create the one remote repository that is the task they have given okay suppose so that we will uh, go and create one remote repository here <coughs> Go here, click on repositories and create repository. Create repository. Mm. <coughs> Maven to host. Okay. Durga remote repository. Okay. After that. I just create click on create repository okay first task is completed guys we have created the remote repository after that we have to collect the url of the remote repository this is the url right and copy that one go to our document this is the remote repository we created just now only copy paste here so we created the remote repository and we copy paste, we copying we copy the URL and pasting here okay so that it will be used for in, in next steps so next one is what uh, step 2 developer has given you a jar file to upload in the remote repository so you need to upload a jar file to in the remote repository that is the uh, dependency so that the developer has given you that particular jar file so that when you run that uh, the goals now you will clean and package that then from panel xml it will go and uh, download that particular uh, dependency or jar file from the remote repository so that only in the step two what we have to do developer has given you a jar file to upload in remote repository okay so where is the jar file let's uh, let, i have one some jar file let me check jar file yeah i have here one sample jar file hello world Let's upload this jar file. That have we created now. Where is our remote repository? Yes, this one, right? Remote repository. here here this is we had to go for uh, browse sorry 
so we have to go here browse and upload component that means we have to upload that particular uh, uh, jar file it is in desktop welcome let me check that jar file this one jar file I am clicking hello world jar file open ok next we have to provide the group id all these things ok I can give some com dot PR foods this is some company name actually we have to provide group ID means artifact ID some Durga RS PR PR artifact okay version 1.0 something will give 1.0 and upload upload it you know <coughs> This code uploaded. Okay, this was uploaded here. Let's go to browse and Durga remote repository. This is the check. click on here. We will get that uh, dependency tag. We will get see this one we need to use this tag only in format xml copy this one first ok after upload we have to go to browse and we have to click on our Durga uh, uh, remote repository then we have to click this jar file ok then we'll, we have to copy this uh, dependency tag is there now we have to use this tag in the format xml see here insert this snippet into your format xml it's saying ok let's go to our document so I need to put that one here ok ok next one step 2 is done we uploaded one jar file and we copy we have taken that uh, dependency and copy paste here ok what is the step 3 step 3 we have to we created the uh, uh, remote repository right so we have to inform to maven same thing so that only we have to configure that remote repository here so what is the remote repository URL? Earlier we have copied now. This is the remote repository of my. So this is the remote repository. The God remote repository. So we have to configure that also. Then only now Maven will know. So go here. When is Maven project goals about remote repository and dependency tag? We need to add in the format XML. So paste this remote repository here. URL. Okay. We have done right. <coughs> so we created the remote repository. After that, in the uh, after that, we got one URL for our remote repository. Second step, what we do? we have uploaded the jar file after that uh, we got this dependency tag we need to add this in public xml ok let's we do let's do this one first format xml <coughs> where is the dependency this one dependency see this is the dependency we need to click enter here paste ok that one we have to do something like we have to give tab ok fine ok like this we have to put dependency tag next one is what we have to add when is the maven calls above remote repository and dependency tag we need to add in the format xml so this remote repository tag also we have to add it in the format xml ok guys I paste this one. I am adding top of this dependency remote repository details. Let's save this one. Okay, next what is our next step is after adding the repositories, remote repository and uh, that uh, dependency, 
Okay. We have added this dependency and we have added this remote, uh, remote repository details in Powered XML. Okay. Next, uh, we need to run the goal clean and package. We have to run our package now. Build clean and package goals. So, go here. Not this one. Sorry. Go here. MVN clean and package. <coughs> Yeah, it's successful. This is successful, successful guys. And uh, this one means what it what it will do it will it uh, see see downloading from Nexus. I did, I didn't get any error because what happened? It should get, we should get error, but uh, why it not got error means because I already configured this one actually. This one is there now. We have one, uh, uh, this thing is there. One, uh, one second, not this one. Mm -hmm. Actually, this, this blocker should come here actually, metal blocker. But I only configured in my previous uh, when uh, running my pre previous uh, project. Now that one I, I already configured this one, so that only I didn't get any error. Uh, if you want means we can see that settings dot xml. Let's go here. Settings dot xml. Edit with Notepad plus plus. See here. This one I already configured my Nexus repository credentials. One more thing is you will get one error for uh, mirror, mirror, mirror thing is there. No? Mirrors, this one, sorry. This one, see, actually here it is true will be there. That one I removed this, that block I removed actually. That I removed that block from that one to the here. And I have added the block which is there in my notepad. This one I added. False. So if it is true means it will get block and we will get error here. Right now all things are fine so that uh, here we always we have to make this one false. So there won't there won't be any no 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 more blocks in our run. So the build was successful. Okay guys, we have done it. So the concept the main concept for this one is like from from Nexus repository we are downloading the this uh, <coughs> what what dependencies. So normally it should go to the center, center repository and all the things. So but we configured the remote repository. So it is downloading the dependency from the Nexus. That is the concept of the this overall concept actually. Okay. If you want, let me show once again. Let me explain you this one. What is it? This is the remote repository. The main intention of remote repository is we need to download the dependencies from the remote repository. So that only if any project, you, uh, uh, new project was started, is some ABC project, you have you have to create the remote repository. So I have, we have to create one remote repository. After that, one URL will come. You have to copy that one URL. And uh, after that, what I did, developer developer has given you one jar file. So why why developer is giving you this jar file? Because in the format XML, the dependency uh, we have to do, it should download. So that only this uh, dependency we are up, you, that uh, jar file you are, you are uploading into the remote repository. So that after uh, uploading, you have to cut this dependency tag. Then you have to copy paste into the dependency tag in the format XML. After that. This remote repository you have to tell. You have created one remote repository, so you have to tell to Maven. This is my remote repository. Please go and uh, uh, store my. Uh, so please go here to remote repository and download this dependency, whatever it is. This artifact you have to download. Like that, you are telling to Maven. That is the purpose. We are we are calculating this remote repository in XML. Okay, so after doing MN clean package, 
it will go and down this uh, maven will go, go and download after seeing this dependency in the problem xml it will go and download the uh, artifacts from the remote repository that is the concept thank you guys i think uh, you understand and uh, this blocker we didn't get in our run if you get this blocker error means you have to copy this one and you have to put it in the settings.xml there you have to remove that uh, uh, one more configuration will be there you have to remove that uh, complete uh, configuration and you have to add your configuration that blocker should be false then only your uh, you will get uh, bill your bill will be successful okay guys thank you